Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be using this recent charity shop find to create a clean and simple shaker card for you. This is a Believe scripty font sentiment die and it's shadow die. To create the aperture for my shaker card I'm going to use the shadow die to cut the shape out of this smooth white cardstock card panel. I also want the word so I'm going to cut them both together and I'm going to put this essentially in the bottom left corner. I could put it in the middle but I think I fancy something slightly offset today and it gives us a bit of extra white space up here, a bit of breathing space. I'm going to hold this in place with some low tack tape, just some washi from my use it or lose it washi tape box. I'm actually going to move it in slightly because I want a bit more space here to put some foam tape. This might end up being a bit of a chunky card, but that's okay. It can be when I hand to the recipient rather than send through the post. But before I cut this out, I want to put on the back some double-sided sticky. And this is just going to make my life easier when it comes to making the shaker pocket and adhering the word. And I'm jigsawing this together because I'm right down to the last remnants of sticky adhesive. I need to order some more because this is quite good stuff. I'll we'll just make sure everything's got its backing paper back on, its release paper, because I've got to run this through my die cutting machine. Now I'm going to run this through my cuttle bug, but I'm going to put it on a sheet of card to protect the front panel from scratches in my cutting plate. So now I can take the die off, carefully removing the washi. So I'm going to put the word on this bit of release paper here so I don't lose it or get it stuck where I don't want it sticking. I've got a sheet of acetate here. I've just popped it on this bit of card so you can see what I'm doing more easily. And I'm going to line it up so it just covers the whole of the back, more or less. And because that is sticky, it will stick down perfectly all the way around the aperture there. And now I can use my trimmer to trim off the overhang. And now we have a nicely adhered bit of acetate on the back of the aperture. And now, without getting too sticky, I'm going to remove the bits that are still left in the die cut here. It's a really useful idea to keep some of the release paper from sticky sheets because it just makes it easier to handle things that you've put the adhesive on like this. If I pop it on this adhesive release paper here, the backing sheet from the sticky sheet, then I can do all this maneuvering without getting it stuck to my fingers and wrecking it. And now I can take some scissors and just snip off a little bit of the release paper and that will allow me to get my word in exactly the right place and peel the release paper off a little at a time making sure each letter sits nicely in the aperture because this is really sticky and once it's down it won't want to come back up again Sometimes you get little bits of sticky sticking out from beneath the letters or whatever you've stuck down, but you can kind of peel them up a little bit and maybe tuck them under so they're not visible. For the shaker part, I need to create a well in which to hold my shaker elements. So I've got some strips of foam tape here and I'm going to weave them, bend them around the aperture. I find the easiest way to do this is to take the release paper off and then they will curve very nicely around where you want them to. And you need to make sure there are no gaps because you don't want your shaker bits to fall out. I'm 
And I'm also going to put foam along the edges so that everything's level when I build my card. We may as well take the release paper off now to save jogging it later. So I want something pretty to go behind my window. It doesn't have to be particularly detailed because there's not an awful lot of it showing around the words. I'm going to take this Cosmic Shimmer Airless Mister in Copper Blaze and mist it onto this card panel here. It's just regular old smooth white cardstock. I think the uh, nozzle's slightly clogged, so I'm gonna give it a wipe with a baby wipe, then I'm gonna wrap that around to catch anything that splurges out and give it a good pump and see if I can clear it. And the answer is no, I can't clear it because I've just destroyed the top. Well, what I'm gonna do is decant a little bit into this little travel mister that I've bought for making my own sprays and use that instead. Well, I'll see if I can use that instead. There we go. So I'll just give that a good misting like that. And I'm going to give this nozzle a wipe in the hopes of preventing it from clogging, turning it upside down and give it a pump or two to empty the nozzle. And now I'm going to wipe up this mess and dry that with my hair dryer. So it's nice and dry now and that should be shimmery enough to show up through the aperture. I've got here a remnant, a scrap of copper glitter paper and I'm going to cut some circles out using this die. I'm also going to use this heart punch to cut out some hearts. So all my copper shapes are in there they're face down so that when you look at the front, you'll see the copper, not the white. And also the well is not that deep, so they won't be able to flip over and show the white side. For a little bit of extra sparkle and shine, I've got some glitter. This was second hand from my crafty charity shop that I go to. It's Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Blitz in Frosted Sparkle. And now I've got my background, which I can, hopefully without pinging everything everywhere, get lined up. If it overhangs in any places, that's okay, because I can just snip it off. There we go. I think I got that. Oh no, it's a little bit overhang at the end, but I can snip that off, as I said. And there we have our little shaker element with some glitter and some copper hearts and copper circles and a copper background. So I'm going to do some snipping and then all I'm going to do is stick it on a card blank. I find it is easier to snip off the bits that overhang or underhang, I suppose, because it's underneath. The bits that stick out, if you just kind of angle your scissors underneath, rather than cutting straight along like that, you can angle them underneath and that will allow you to snip nicely and keep everything hidden. I might just do the same down here as well because I can just see a little bit peeking out. To stick this on, I'm going to use Tape Runner. If you find you've got any adhesive from the back or random bits that have attached themselves to the front of the card, I find a really useful way of removing them that is pretty clean is using an eraser and just very gently and repetitively rub them with the eraser until they disappear. You don't have to scrub, just very gently and they'll eventually lift off I find. So there you have a clean and simple shaker card. It's got about half and half white space I think so it does count I think as clean and simple. Plus we haven't got any extra adornments on there but you could add a few nouveau drops if you wanted or some splatters or you could even do this word in a different colour card stock. I think it stands out quite nicely with the, the dark copper behind the aperture. And I think this is something you can do with any of these kind of two part sentiment word dies. You can cut the aperture with the outline or shadow part and then you can stick the word over the top and then have your shaker. It doesn't even have to be a shaker, it could just be a patterned paper or a bit of background behind it. 
right, I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you another idea of something to do with these two part sentiment or word dies. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and come back tomorrow for my next video. And I think my next video, I might be trying to use up some of this. Now I have completely destroyed the airless mister aspect of this. I want to find different ways of using this shimmer spray. Right, I will see you then. Bye for now.